go party. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Let's go inside. You excited, huh? You excited, huh? spoke about him in many 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 of my videos but it's time for me to introduce you, to you guys to my son Jade come here big boy come here who's my big boy huh huh who's my big boy wanna say hi to the camera huh wanna say hi to the camera huh so yes this is my son his name is Jade he is I don't know if you can really translate how large he actually is for a husky but he's just about the same size as me. I'm about 5'5", five five. he's just under my chin. So, him standing on his back feet, making him stand up is, you know, just under, or just a little bit over five feet, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But he weighs just, I believe, 68 pounds the last time I, uh, I weighed him. And um, today he's taking a little trip with me on basically what it's like to drive through the you know the hoods of LA basically where I live and where I grew up and am still currently living and you know there's there's a lot of uh, how should I say interesting things to talk about when it comes to you know growing up as a youth and being subjected to, uh, to this environment and make no mistake about it my parents um, gave me the absolute best opportunity in life by uh, making me go out to schools in West LA and things of that nature. And there's my motto on it, for the most part anyways, unless you're looking for trouble, you're not really gonna find trouble as, you know, as someone who has lived through here and has continually gone through what it's like to live in gang infested areas, things like that. When people think about LA, um, they probably think of for, for those who aren't familiar with LA, they probably think of, you know, Hollywood glamour, the, um, affluence, wealth, things like that. And don't get me wrong, LA is extremely expensive. And to be able to afford to live here does require one to make, you know, a decent living. But that's, again, that's all relative. You know, someone that is struggling here and basically at the poverty line for here, you know, living in, um, you know, Watts or or any of the sub cities like that that are you know predominantly low income they can have a pretty reasonable life living in you know a state like georgia which is in and of itself incredible you know a lot of houses you can find in georgia are in the range of you know 13 to 40 hundred dollars and that's on the higher end and in, in a little bit of better areas for you know like a four or five bedroom house and a decent sized property lot that's amazing 
unfortunately here in LA $1,400 to barely get you a studio in basically Skid Row in downtown it's a whole different life over here and in, in terms of the expenses just based on property and it, it, it's saddening and sickening at the same time because when you're when you live here and why when you look around you see such an increase in obesity uh, there are very few healthy options around here every corner you go there's a jack-in-the-box a, a McDonald's a Burger King fried chicken <laughs> to go all with a stereotype but you know it's funny that a lot of people complain or you know people that aren't living through this this area and breathe this air and have lived through this area and dealt with the obstacles that one would have to deal with growing up you know they talk about ways to make things of, of this nature better but the reality of it is there's very few options to have a better life here and that, that's that's a sad that's a sad reality of it because the people who you know who are subjected to and confined to going to schools here it's not impossible but it is significantly harder and i feel like there's not many people that shine a light on on things things of that nature the resources that are put into the, the school system down here you know i believe one of the high schools here um, George Washington Prep, the graduating class was, what, 12, 15 people out of a class of hundreds of people. My, my graduating class at University, University High School in West LA, we had the largest graduating class at that time. I think we had a graduating class of over 700 people. Um, honestly, if you didn't graduate that year, I don't know what to say. It was... It's extreme. You have to try to not graduate in high school. That's how easy it was to me. And I understand that there are definitely obstacles, and not everyone has had the same exact resources available to them as I may have had or be fortunate enough to have had. But in real reality, you can pass high school with you know a 1.0, right? But yeah, how's it going, boy? Huh? How's it going? So guys, this is my son right here. I used, when I used to live out in Ventura, I used to uh, drive with him daily. Uh, I used to take him to a dog park off of off of Main Street in downtown Ventura, and that's honestly one of the only that's one of the few things that I miss about Ventura County as a whole was the ability to go to a a grass dog park. I don't know about you guys, but please let me know. There's absolutely no dedicated dog park that I know of in LA County that caters to dogs, obviously, and does not have a dirt field. Look at his color. He's all white. And yes, he does need a little bath right now because he's actually even whiter than he is than he currently looks. But there is no way in hell that I'm gonna allow my dog to, or any dog, regardless of color, especially because of my allergies to basically play in something that would severely kill my sinuses and it's sad because there's so many dog owners here and Ventura County is such a, a lovely community that is so dog friendly I'm no Caesar Milan but I have my dog on on check for the most part and he doesn't bother me or give me any issues at all it's been an absolute pleasure raising him and in doing so it's allowed me to trust him in many ways that some people, especially as husky owners, would, wouldn't dare. I used to be able to walk him. You know, there is a, a smoothie place out there called Blenders. I, I believe Blenders in the Grass. I believe it's only really out in Ventura County and nor Northern California. It hasn't really come down to more Southern California. But I used to be able to walk in there, get, grab a smoothie, and no one to freak out. People love him. He's the nicest dog you'd ever meet, honestly. His temperament is out of this world. I it's not just because he's my dog, you know, everyone always says like my dog is the best dog, but no, his his personality is so caring and loving that you can't help but not love him. That's he just and I guess it shows what I guess through the, the love that I show him, but I show him so much care and love that he's he's my son. 
that people, you know, will probably be thinking that and look at that weirdly and say, well, how, how can you say that your, your, your dog is your son? Well, no, for me, this, he is my son. I treat him like my son and I would, There's many things I would do, and there's basically nothing I wouldn't do to protect his life. That's just, I'm just gonna put it that way. That's how much he means to me. And that's how much how, how he will always mean to me. Now granted, obviously, I don't have an actual human child, but I feel like, as a human being, you should look, treat all life, for the most part, you know, the, obviously there are some exceptions. You should treat all life with generally the same respect. And I feel that as a human being, if you don't want to respect animals or care for animals or love for animals, you're not the best human being in my eyes because for one, an animal is just about the purest slate of innocence one can have. Especially domesticated animals. They know no harm, they generally do no harm, and they mean no harm. So for you to mistreat and abuse an animal, you really have to you have to be sick in the head to be honest because I don't know how people can take an animal and abuse it, torture it, anything of that nature and do anything but love an animal because especially a dog, a dog will show you unmitigated, unrivaled, unparalleled loyalty time in and time out again. It doesn't matter what kind of day I've had you know what's going on in my personal life or anything of that nature it doesn't matter how mad I've been how mad I am as soon as I see him even regardless of what facial expression I have he's wagging his tail he's happy to see me and it makes pretty much all of my worries that I've had prior to meeting him again for the day after I you know went about doing my business for the day coming back home again it doesn't matter what has happened to me as long as I know that I have my son with me and I see him smiling and happy, happy to see me come home. There's, how can, how can anyone complain about that or not love something like that? But other than that, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk. You know, I think I'm turning, going to try and turn this into a little bit more of a segment for when I don't have vehicles to review or just something else, you know, try and bring my son along talk a little bit to you guys the viewers maybe some you know world world events things like that not necessarily anything really political or anything like that but try and share my thoughts and opinions with my son accompanying me and see how it turns out and see if you guys enjoy this type of things and maybe you know being able to share a little bit more of myself in the process and i hope you guys the viewers will be more interested into a little bit more of what my daily life work, workings are because remember like i said i am still getting used to this aspect of making videos and don't get me wrong, it is, it is fun. I do, I do enjoy it, but at the same time, it's tricky when trying to figure out and curate something and have it still be at least a little bit interesting. Because you know, there's only so many motiv motivational speeches one can do before it's, you know you're basically regurgitating things uh, and you know things along those lines. But with that said, it's a learning process. I'm still new, and I hope you guys join me in figuring out exactly how. I go about doing this and you know working as a family. So that said I appreciate every single one of you. It's been a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my son for the first time. I <laughs> but obviously we'll be seeing much much more of him and much